Thank you, Hakan. Good morning, everyone. How are you all? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm glad to be back here. I came here last time and uh, did a talk with the Service Design Breakfast, which was really good fun. Uh, I was invited back. Of course, this time we did it with uh, clients uh, to show, talk about case study. Uh, so it's a pretty good one from, from our side because actually this is a case study that we're actually working on now. This is a very live project. So we've actually just kind of, we've nearly finished it. Uh, but I'll just introduce myself quickly and then I'll, I'll give the, uh, Santo can introduce himself. I think, I, I know quite a few of you already, but I think uh, you might know who I am as well. Uh, my name's Anton, Anton Schubert. I'm the head of product and service design at 358. I've uh, been doing that for about three and a half years now. Um, before that, long history in user-centered design, working at places like IDEO uh, and London Design Consultancies for the last 20 years. I've got a very strange voice today because I'm full of flu. So that's why, if I, if I have a sneezing fit, I have my, uh, my trusty toilet roll here in case I start to sneeze my head off half an hour. But hopefully that won't happen. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm head of product and service design. We have Sarah over there who's, who's in the, uh, sitting down. She's actually the designer who's been working on, on the, uh, the stuff here that we're gonna show today. So thank you to Sarah for doing such a great job on this. Uh, and I'll, I'll hand over to Santu and he can introduce himself. Okay, good morning all. My name is Santo, as has been told, and thank you for the invitation. And uh, a little bit of my background. So, I'm a, I'm a clean tech guy. Do you know what is clean tech? Yes, yes, you, you heard a word. Have you, have you heard about what is clean tech Finland? No. Okay, so very short explanation. Maybe you could put the next slide just to show. So, so clean tech Finland, that's an umbrella brand which is uniting all the top Finnish companies who are working in the field of clean tech, energy and environment. So everything to do fight, fight, fighting against the climate change and those stuff. That the whole the Finnish the whole expertise is gathered under the brand Clean Tech Finland, and we are marketing and branding the Finnish clean tech expertise to the global markets. And uh, I've been working with uh, with Clean Tech Finland since the beginning 2007. And before that, I was working with a lot of Finnish clean tech companies. I was taking them to new markets. So maybe maybe up to 40 companies, I've been consulting them to go to Central Eastern Europe, China, India, and USA to conquer new markets. And uh, with the clean tech Finland, I think the key problem from the very beginning has been for us that how can we more efficiently channel the excellent know-how what we have in Finland to the global markets. And, and that's why basically we are here today, that we've been now designing, starting to design a new, new service that we can accelerate the process to really boost the Finnish clean tech business. So I think we can start with that. Thanks, Santu. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about my history with clean tech because uh, I'm, I'm seeing a few blank faces like, well, what, what the hell is clean tech, right? And when I started working with Santu in uh, clean tech Finland, I, I thought exactly the same actually. I'm like, what the hell is this clean tech thing, right? So the first thing I did, of course, was uh, you know, I Googled clean tech, right, as you do, and uh, you get images like this, right? Uh, you know, this kind of globe on a leaf. Nice. Or you might get an image like this, right? Uh, a guy working on a computer in a field. And so I'm still kind of wondering what clean tech is, right? Does anybody, can anybody kind of articulate what clean tech is? No? Really? Okay. So we have some work to do, right? But I think, you know, what, what happened was the, when we started working with Santu and the clean tech team, um, we, uh, you know, we, the only way to really find out about what clean tech was was to actually meet the people who work with clean tech, right? So, of course, we did co-creation. We met the teams, we went into the kind of like, it, we went into the organizations, we started working with people who work in clean tech, right? And that's when I really started to understand what clean tech was. Instead of all this kind of like, you know, this funny imagery with like globes and mothers and children running through kind of grass and stuff like that, you know, it's actually, a, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool industry actually. Um, but if you look at what, um, if you look at what Wikipedia says about clean tech, it's pretty, it's pretty clear, right? You know, clean technology includes recycling, renewable energy, wind power, solar power, biomass, hydro power, biofuels, information technology, green transportation, electric motors, 
green chemistry, lighting, grey water and many other appliances that are now more energy efficient. It's a means to create electricity and fuels with a smaller environmental footprint and minimise pollution. Do you all understand now? I think that's a pretty good explanation actually, but one thing that... Yeah? Just have a question, can all technology sort of be clean technology then, if it's improving and making less waste and anything like that? It should be, yeah. Santa might be yeah, able to it, It's a good point, and I think at the end of the day that will be the case, that the basically all the solutions which are somehow uh, having less impact to the environment than the previous solutions, so they are kind of clean solutions. I was meaning more like, how do you then uh, see what is clean and what is not? Let me go through this. My, we might be able to answer that if we show some things. I think one thing that Wikipedia says is this, but I think when, when we start doing co-creation with people in the industry and with Santu and his team, we found out that clean tech is actually a shit-hot topic. I mean, it, everybody's talking about it, right? It's, Bob Geldof, Bono, all these kind of key figures, it's top of the political agenda in most countries, right? It is about like, it, it, it is a very kind of like important subject. Um, and, it, and it has the potential, and if you look at the kind of all the industries that you work, you can work with in clean tech, it has the potential to, to save us from the environmental, environmental disaster, right, that everybody's kind of talking about. Um, and it has some amazingly talented people working behind the scenes uh, in, in these companies. Uh, not only in Finland, but of course all across the world. <clears throat> and uh, you know, we met quite a lot of these people and, and you know, some of them are doing really things, but it's just their job. You, know, you, you meet these guys who are working in energy efficiency. I met a guy in Metz, who works with Metso, who's responsible for kind of energy optimization within the Metso factories all over the world, right? And, and his job is to kind of like optimize energy, right? So he saves like trillions and trillions of kilowatts of electricity every year by just using, being smart about how to use electricity. Um, so I want to show just a couple of examples actually of some of the amazing work that's happening in clean tech. Just so you get a, you get a feel for how, in, in a way, how cool this industry is and some of the, some of the huge impact that it's having behind the scenes maybe. Uh, that we, don't, we, might not be, we might not be all aware about. So let me show you this. this is a, uh, we have, I have a couple of little videos to show you. This is from a, a company called Gaia. Gaia are actually just in the city here on Boulevardi. Uh, the managing director is a guy called Juha Van uh, We interviewed him actually. He's a really great guy, very experienced. And his company kind of looks at like, innovation in sustainability. Um, and this is one of the projects that they, that, that they did recently, right? So I'll just show this video. By you know building a stove and giving it to these kind of villages, you know you, you're saving the consumption of you're saving seventy percent consumption of wood uh, in, in these in these places. So you know the impact that has is huge. Like it said in the video, these kids now have more time to, to learn to go to school, right? Instead of collecting wood. So pretty cool. And then you know there's another. You might you might know this company, Zen Robotics. Of course, this is I think this was quite. This was a bit of a viral hit, this video that went out. And again, you know, I think 
super cool, like what these guys are doing. So I'll, I'll just play this video. If you think about the, 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 the need here for the, these guys have realised that, you know, Europe produces 900 million tonnes of waste, domestic, uh, like kind of um, building waste uh, and domestic waste. So these guys realised that, you know, instead of like uh, having lots of people trying to kind of like sift waste and, and kind of separate it, if you get robots to do that, you know, it would be much more efficient, right? And you can actually uh, reclaim all that material instead of just putting it into landfill. So here's, here's the Zen Robotics video, which, you know, they've done a really great job of making this industry quite interesting, actually. robots so they of course it makes some energy to produce those those guys but <coughs> they are like up in, in this company there are like seven out of uh, eight best mathematic mathematicians working in this company they've been really like working with the top top solutions and I think they know what they are doing. All right so I'm gonna hand the, the, the stage to Santa who's gonna talk a little bit more about um, the drivers for clean tech and, and also the, the huge the huge business opportunity actually out there globally. Okay. Good. Thank you, Anton. So I know a little bit more familiar what is clean tech. Yeah. So, so maybe just to kind of uh, making it very clear. So clean tech. So everything kind of energy and environmental uh, solutions. We talk about energy, energy efficiency in the buildings, uh, transportation, in the industry, renewable energy, wind, solar and uh, bioenergy, geothermal energy and so forth and then all the other kind of environmental uh, issues and problems air pollution control, waste management, we saw a good example wastewater treatment, air pollution control, soil remediation so this is, this is clean tech and I'm going to now somehow give you this, some ideas what are the real the fundamental uh, reasons and drivers for this huge market opportunity and then I show you some figures about the, what is this market all about and something what, what has Finland to offer. And then I'm going to go more into details of so what are we doing actually here with Duncan. This one. Good. I think you've seen this guy. Have you? <laughs> so I think he 
in a way started this kind of clean tech revolution in around 2007. He and his team from the IPC, the International Panel for Climate Change Mitigation, so they get a Nobel Prize in 2007 for their work. And uh, why, I'm, why I have this awareness here is that I, I feel that this is one of the, the biggest drivers for the development here, that people are more aware of these issues, problems, and through the media, and with, with, uh, with a couple of people, so they can make an impact and uh, get real people interested in these solutions. And the real market demand comes from the, from the real people. And uh, in a way, Al Gore, he, he gave the face for fighting against the climate change. Uh, do you agree? Yes, no. Okay, but this is, this is it. And I, I think, when looking back, in, in 2007, actually, the whole word uh, clean tech was uh, invented in Silicon Valley by Nick Parker. He's a founder of Clean Tech Group. And it is kind of a continuation of, of high tech, clean tech. And it has become, today, it is a major major industry. I'm going to talk about the figures a little bit later. But this kind of awareness uh, and, uh, and getting, getting the excitement out there and getting the actual uh, problems visible. So, so this, is, this is actually creating a huge market opportunity and huge need for new innovations for fighting against these issues. I think nowadays it's pretty clear that all the, kind of, most of the science world, they agree that climate change and the human uh, kind of behavior, it, it, it has an interlink with the CO2 emissions and so on and so on. So these kind of examples of the catastrophe, so they are driving the big drivers that people are thinking, okay, we have to do something. I need clean air for my children. Uh, I have to go run away from the flood. Uh, there are lots of, lot of, we talk about this kind of uh, climate, uh, uh, Anyway, people from India, so they need to start moving around the world, looking for better places to live. So these are actually creating a big, big need for new solutions. Uh, talking about the consumers, so, so this is uh, what I believe myself, that this is the, at the moment the biggest driver for these businesses, is that we people, we are already so aware that there's a need for, for better, cleaner solutions, and we are the ones who are driving the markets, and that's why I think this kind of all kind of uh, service design issues related to clean tech. So this, uh, you know, this is the, trem the tremendous opportunity for, for actually for all of us. But how can we engage with the normal people, get them excited about? They want. To, we don't want to talk about only these threats and showing this catastrophe. So we want to show that this is something, something that we really, we, we really need, and we want to have. You mentioned about this. Uh, solutions that you are dealing with, with these energy companies. <coughs> these kind of solutions are needed, so people are ready for those. <coughs> Responsibility. Uh, so this is uh, something that I think only 15 years ago, <coughs> major corporations and the CEOs, they started to think about, okay, we have to, we have to do something about it, and these kind of corporate responsibility issues, they came into the picture. Uh, and today, when you look at any, any stock listed company, so they have these issues already in place. So they talk about environmental issues, they, they talk about corporate responsibility, and this is another big driver and catalyst for new investments in the sector. So the big industries, they are investing a lot for cleaner and more efficient solutions. And I say that there is not a single uh, country or city company or even individual people who can actually live today in the world uh, uh, and, and not thinking about these issues. So it's, it's part, of, part of our life today. But I think this is the, uh, of course, so we, we've got the regulations and all this CO2 target, we have to reduce the emissions and, and these kind of regulate, regulatory issues. So these are given and they are creating the marketplace. But I think this fact, the fact that we are running out of Fossil fuels, the fact that we are running out of some uh, crucial resources. So this is, uh, in, in my opinion, this is the biggest driver for these for this, uh, solutions. That we have to find more innovative ways. How can we uh, produce more with less materials? How can we uh, do things with less water and so on? So, so this is the scarcity of that we are running out of resources. So this is, so this is really pushing companies and cities and, and, and even countries to think about how do they, how, 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 
they can even survive in the world. Okay, so, so, so these are kind of fundamental reasons so we, they, they created the, the market opportunity and we are all aware of that. And let's talk, look a little bit about the figures. Uh, it may be a little bit difficult to understand, but I will explain what, what is it. But in, in, in big scale, clean tech market today is 200, 2,000 billion euros. That's roughly eight